What's up guys? It's your boy DJ Soul Force. Today we're going to take a sneak peek and a quick look at the Fun Snap Idle drone. Uh, this one's a selfie drone, foldable design, brushless motors, downward facing props, uh, 1080p camera. It has a 120 degree angle uh, pitch angle on the camera. The camera can point upward and uh, down to 90 degrees. Uh, the camera is tilt adjustable from the remote controller. Uh, it comes in two or three different versions. Uh, there's a bind and fly version. You can fly this bird totally uh, with your smartphone or smart device. Or you can get the version with the remote controller, one battery. And there's a platinum package that comes with the remote controller and three batteries. Uh, it also comes with a full set of spare props, battery charger. It comes with a Euro plug, but they will throw in the uh, US adapter or whatever country you live in. They'll supply you with the adapter for it. Now, guys, uh, unlike my usual videos, uh, I usually start and do the whole full review at the field, guys. Quite often, I take a quad out, uh, usually to my front yard or to the field, and do a quick initial test flight on the drone just to make sure it's working properly and to fam familiarize myself with the drone so that I don't go on video looking like an idiot and don't know anything about it. So today I'm going to share some rare video guys that uh, Eric and I shot at the field where we took the fun snap out for its initial test flight and I can't say that it went very well but I cannot call this the end of the review guys uh it was the first flight to the best i could i read the instructions which were actually just two little tiny pamphlets more like a quick start guide uh i did some research on the bird and uh took it out get to give it a try <laughs> so i'm going to show you guys uh that rare video that uh ordinarily i would not have posted but I think it's interesting. I think you guys are gonna want to see this, so check it out, guys. The Fun Snap Idol. <laughs> it's your boy DJ Soul Force. Let's go to the field. Pow! All right, transmitter on first. <laughs> Press and hold, and nothing happened. <laughs> Let me hold this for a couple seconds. Okay, change colors. <laughs> Now, I have calibrated this bird at home already. We should have to just push up, down, and she's blinking. See how tiny? Can you see that from over there? Yeah, it's a white light flashing. But, it's supposed to It'll stop flashing and go solid, oh, okay. solid green, supposedly. But at this point, I should be safe to connect to the app. You have to bind the transmitter in the quad before trying to connect. Let me double check that. Okay, it turned green. It turned green. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, we are connected to the app. And this is the Fun Snap app. I got an FPV picture. I figured that. Why do these apps have Why? numbers so damn little so you can't I, I know. I got to go get my eyeglasses now. <laughs> and why they got the virtual sticks up there? You can't make them go away? I don't think so, Eric. In the toy quad, you can. But this ain't a toy quad. This is supposed to be a step above. Jeez, man, even with my glasses on, that's still hard to see. I couldn't tell you. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Bear with me, guys. Uh, this is an initial test flight. First of all, let me just crank this thing up. The motor's on. Let's take her up. And test the optical flow. She's got GPS, optical flow sensor. She's already drifted. A couple more feet. 
Now it's going to be hard to get optical flow over this grass, but. Yeah. I can't get away without saying, how do you like my shirt? <laughs> Let's start the video, though. <laughs> oh, damn, that took a picture. All right. Start the video. We are recording. You're recording now? Yeah, 1080p picture. I can't help it. <laughs> you gotta say it. How do you like my shirt today? <laughs> I love this shirt, man. It's a solid color. Yeah, really? No rainbows. <laughs> She's still drifting all over the place. Uh, let me do a test of the gimbal point up and down. We got control of that. Yeah, she got a two axis. No, no, no axis. <laughs> it just points up and down. No image stabilization. Oh really? Yeah, it does. It's gotta have it because that thing. No, 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 no image stabilization. No image stabilization. Well, 4K or 1080? 1080p. No, should have it. It's gonna have it. This is your basic selfie bird. Let's turn it around and point it at us, Eric. How do you like my damn shirt? <laughs> Almost look like your shirt. It's a Clemson, it's a Clemson orange. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Oh my, that's um. Oh, uh, that is. Compass. Whoa! <laughs> she toilet bowling. Very bad. Oh. Let's kill those motors. All right, guys. Uh, I calibrated this bird at home today, but let's try to recalibrate it. Cause that in the middle of the flight to go crazy. Right off of the bat, that's is it, that's, is it related to uh, um what's that company I'm thinking about? Um, SEMA. <laughs> Let's stop that video. Control is that SEMA Pro? <laughs> Let's stop the video and see if I can remember how to get into the settings. Settings right here. There goes calibration up top. Okay, there. calibrate the sensors. This is uh, the gyro calibration, which should be. It's blinking, so it must be. It did it. Okay. That one's done. Now let's do the. Compass calibration. Yeah. Start it. Yeah, She's blinking. doing a slow flash on white. And this one has to be turned four times. That's one, two, three. Four. It changed to step two, which doesn't show. Do I point the camera up or down? Towards you or away from you. Don't go. I'll point the camera up then. One, four. Back to flashing blue. Hit this complete button. Now let's go back to start. And it's green, solid green. Now. Solid green. Okay, <laughs> everything should be good to go. Let's test the uh, auto takeoff button. Right. Mm, yeah, working a lot better now. <laughs> well, it was working a lot better. It worked for about five seconds. <laughs> and she's still she's flowing <laughs> she's not holding but she's flowing she should have been she should have caught that helmet without a problem right right let's give it a little altitude I'm going to put it back over the back over the pad Now these are basic enclosed tests because I, I'm not trusting this bird out there. I wouldn't go past the fence. <laughs> if she's not acting right right here. Wouldn't go past the fence. Maybe it, she's still moving bird, though. Supposed to be able to hover still. And the big seller on this is you can hover and, and do selfies indoors. Yeah, okay. Now we're outside. Let's see if you see anything here that says how many satellites. Oh, I got 14 satellites. 15 now. It should be very still with 15 satellites. Well, it's not too bad. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and start the video again. 
I might fly as far as the fence. I wouldn't go too much further than that. This is the highest speed. She lost altitude from here to the fence. All right, now when she get out there, hold that for me. I gotta take these glasses off. At least she's not toilet bowling this time. This is the high speed. She started with a, a deep pitch. I got it to the floor and then it slowed down. That's that GPS. Good sense kicking in. She dipping. Oh, I did not do that. I did not do that. And I'm not sure if the motor's killed or not. Yeah, they, they must have killed Dude, this thing crashed in my house and now it's crashing out in the field. Maybe it's me? No. But. <laughs> Like I said, I, I have started the manual. You did the calibrations. I did the calibration. This is my first flight with it, so let's try it again. Automatic takeoff, <laughs> which works fine. <laughs> that was an automatic takeoff. Now it put itself on the ground let me raise it up a little bit no it can't be low battery dude we we haven't flown but three minutes that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> this bird has a sonar and an optical four flow sensor on the bottom are they turned on you can't turn them off <laughs> uh, you know. right let me see. now she look like she's doing good Well, you, you interrupted it. Apparently, it's working, sort of. Yeah, it, it didn't run away from me. It tried to come to me. Does it have <laughs> hand landing or something? I think it does. I'm not sure, Eric. I wouldn't land it in my hand. The props are un, un, unguarded at the bottom. Hmm. It defaults in a high speed. Okay, we got a LED in the front flashing to indicate recording, I guess. And that's another thing with this bird, there's not a lot of LEDs for orientation. Look at that deep pitch, but then she slows down after that. Go too far. <laughs> it only has like a, I believe 30, maybe 50 meter range where it should hit a geo fence. Let's push it out. The thing is, okay, yeah, she hit the fence. Come home? I don't know what it does. I think it hits the fence. Well, it's a good time to just to return to home. Stay there. <clears throat> She's going further out. Oh. Okay. We won't go too far, but uh, return to home is this button, top right shoulder button. She's beeping. I see it. It's coming. She didn't raise up. Not much. <laughs> she, I think you might be able to set that height, I hope. But then you're not supposed to fly it in the forest, so wait a minute. It's um it's trying to come home but over there. Yeah, home is over here, trick. It's on Alright, let me give it I'm not catching that one in my hand. Alright, I'm try to kill it. I try to Cancel to return to home. <laughs> She's home, down on the ground, cutting grass. Let me kill the motors manually. Oh boy, here we go. I, I wanted to, to start this video by saying it's fun to test a new bird, but it can also be frustrating. <laughs> Very frustrating, especially if you don't know what to expect from this thing. This is going to take some testing. You have my glasses because yes, I, I want to see, I want to check our battery level here. Does it have one? Uh, yeah, I got 49% battery, 84% left on the SD cards. It's got some nice little figures here. 49% well, battery, that's not bad for the amount of um, crashing it did. 
I don't see battery for the quad. I got battery for the transmitter. I think that's the transmitter. No, the transmitter's right there. Okay. All right. Well, I got 49% something. <laughs> I got 83% or something else. Well, we got 49% of flight control. The biggest thing is I have 19 satellites, so... With 19 satellites, there should be... Auto takeoff. There should be no toilet bowling. That's there should be... That's GPS and Glonass. There should be none of that. Yeah. There should be a whole lot of movement. And like I said, one of the biggest sellers on this thing is being safe enough to fly indoors without GPS. Now this is with GPS, and she's not holding the position. Any, um, any Get your ass away from me! <laughs> See, after one, after one, one yard to the left, she low power. Whether okay, low power already. Give me my return to home. In the grass. She didn't even wait for me to confirm it. But we just had 49% when you took off. Now it's at 7% in the red. It lost 42% in, in, in two minutes. At least it just turned his motors off. <laughs> Let's go ahead and kill that video. <laughs> and... Uh, there wasn't a lot of information on this thing in the in the manual. I believe that's 5G Wi-Fi, but it makes fun snap. it's backed by Xiaomi. But Xiaomi didn't put their name on it. They uh, some other company I can't even pronounce it. Like Dead Dog. <laughs> 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 dead, dead dog fun snap. Well, and that's about right. It's a dead dog. Uh, dead okay. Dog did not hunt. I didn't have a screen recorder on this video so the guys could see the app that we're looking at. Yeah, it didn't miss much. Whatever this 81% is next to the SD card, uh, I still have 81%. It's got to be the controller. Yeah, that's. Or 81%. Yeah, on the controller, that's gotta be the controller. They wouldn't percentage your space on the SD. <laughs> I don't think so. Go ahead and power it down. That's I stopped and saved the recording. Sad. Very sad. We'll we'll have to do a couple follow up tests on it. Uh, some of this could be my fault. I read. Hold on, let's. By the way, guys, the the instruction book was just a little pamphlet. <coughs> didn't have that much information in it this is the quick start guide <laughs> and this the in-depth <laughs> is no big <laughs> is no bigger than the quick the quick start guide uh, actually this one is labeled remote controller manual so this one tells you everything about the remote this is the quick start guide for the the quadcopter maybe there's a um, firmware update and that's a, it is it's available through the app uh, at home when I first fired it up uh, I did a firmware update there's a uh, option in the app to update the firmware and to update the app the app is up to date the firmware for the bird took an update and I also forgot to mention the video that we're recording uh, is stored inside the bird there's no SD card here guys it has a 16 Gigabyte internal storage. But it records in 4K, so that means you can get at least. Oh, not 4K, 1080p. <laughs> but damn, 16 gigabytes. I, I should get five, six, seven, eight flights out of this thing. Well, 16, yeah. 16 gigabytes. But you have to now. Once the video is stored in the in the in the uh, quadcopter. The only way to get it out is to tell the quad to download the video to my phone, and then I can retrieve it from my phone. Well, then you still have to have a full battery to do that. <laughs> exactly. So well, you got to charge your battery anyway. The quad has a it has a hidden. Where is it? Somewhere on here. Right here under this panel is a SD card, micro SD card slot. But if you connect that to your computer, you get nothing. Oh, don't pull a Sebi. <laughs> <laughs> don't 
kill your laptop. It's not like you can just connect it to your computer and retrieve your videos and photos, guys. That you doesn't make any sense. You have to download it, which takes a long time, almost another whole you battery charge. Wi-Fi. Yeah, with, with that 10 minute of video, it's going to take me 20 minutes to download it to my phone. Then I have to go in my phone and search for it. <laughs> Yeah, because you don't know how, what kind of file is going to come out. Or where it put the file. It put the file, it, it, it put the file in a media folder somewhere on my phone. I have some test video. It's, uh, it's, uh, Did I turn it off? Yeah, it's, it's all. It's a nice looking <laughs> it, it gave us some good action video. <laughs> we had to run from it a couple of times. <laughs> oh, hi, action video. All right, man. I, all I can do is stay tuned. Is uh, stay tuned for the next test flight. I'll go home and try to educate myself some more on it. Uh, all the videos I saw on this bird was in a foreign language, and then one was out in the California desert. <laughs> And uh, uh, the, the the other one was in French French glitch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fringlish. Fr yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, Sebi had his. He flew it with just his tablet. I have the remote control version. It also comes in a version uh, called the platinum version, where you get the bird, the transmitter, and three batteries. In a carrying case for it, guys. Well, but crash three times. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, with those three batteries, maybe you can get more than six minutes of video that we just got, guys. It's your boy DJ Soul Force with my man Scotty. <laughs> but we out of here. <laughs>